Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. The entire community was overjoyed. An exciting young Nigerian couple was about to tie the knot, and it was a reason for joy. Everyone would be invited to take part in the celebration, which would be divided into three sections. However, when she was in the second half of the house, the bride's pet attacked one of the guests, and she was able to rescue the lives of the other guests. You had no idea that the girl was wearing below her brightly colored skirt. Following the traditions of her community, Chiara was to marry Shakir, a young worker who had impressed his in-laws through the course of his courting because he had worked with remarkable precision and competence on their fields during the course of their courtship. He had also sent a substantial dowry to Chiara's family, so there was no need for the wedding to be postponed any longer. Some of the young ladies in that hamlet were envious of Chiara because she was the only one in the community who stood out for her beauty. She, on the other hand, paid little heed to such unfavorable views and remained concentrating on making her life as productive as possible. The news of the marriage did not go down well with some of these young ladies since they had not yet reached the age of marriage. The young woman, on the other hand, paid no attention to them and instead concentrated on getting everything ready for that big day. In comparison to other regions of the world, such as the United States, Nigerian weddings are very different from those performed elsewhere. There, the traditional marriage ceremony is divided into three stages based on the ethnicity of the couple. At their particular situation, they would execute the Ouroboros ceremony. After that, there was a religious ceremony, and then there was a large dinner for her village. It was at this ritual that they paid homage to their ancestors, gods, and symbols of what they perceived to be above and beyond the physical and worldly. According to legend, the ghosts of ancestors who had passed away are present throughout this rite of initiation. According to Ouroboros, the human person is made up of more than just flesh and bones. He or she is also comprised of a spiritual self. Chiara's residence was the location of this marriage ceremony. In that location, Shakir, together with his family and friends, delivered beverages and various goods to the bride's family and asked for the guests to enjoy during their reception. They also presented an offering for their forefathers and foremothers. The significance of this rite lay in the fact that the groom's family want to appear attractive in comparison to those of the bride. All the ceremonies, discussions, sacrifices, and tributes to the spirits, as well as the feast of what the Shakir family had brought with them, were completed without incident and Chiara's father were able to finalize the marriage. After all of this, the bride eventually emerged, dressed in a brightly colored gown with a hat on her head. Her partner also participated in the ceremony with her, and they signed the Ouroboros deed of union and marriage after completing the required rites. After the rites were completed, they had to wait around two hours before they could execute the religious marriage, which was the most important portion of the ceremony since it involved the entire community. In the beginning, there were just the groom's family and the prospective husband's closest acquaintances in attendance, which was a small group. Chiara changed from her brightly colored suit to a more traditional wedding gown, applied makeup, and her family took care of the last-minute arrangements to ensure that the feast was a smashing success. The event was held in the temple, which had been beautifully decorated. Hundreds of people attended, According to the customs officials in the area, everything appeared to be in working order. Moreover, Chiara had requested them to dress Ubu, her loved puppy, who had been at her side for six years and who was her constant buddy, whom she cherished as she would treat any other member of the family. She had asked him to build her a lovely suit for the occasion, and one of her sisters was in charge of sprucing it up for the event. Even though Chiara and Shakir were going to live in a separate house, they had prepared a house for Ubu, despite the fact that the bride was used to sleeping with him. But her future husband informed her that he could not pleasure her since he was allergic to dogs, which she accepted. Even yet, the young guy was powerless to stop her from bringing her loyal pet to the wedding. Changing her clothing and applying her cosmetics took longer than Chiara had anticipated 
and she became quite apprehensive as a result. She took the long trek from her residence to the church. She went with her entire family in tow to ensure that she was safe. Shakir, on the other hand, was anxiously awaiting her arrival within her. Everyone clapped when they saw her come, with the exception of the females who coveted her beauty and grace. She went joyfully in the chapel, and the reverend began the ceremony with a prayer for her well-being. Uvu, on the other hand, disrupted the conversation by barking insistently, causing everyone to become agitated. Although Chiara expressed her regret, she did not take go of her boyfriend's hand in order to reassure her pet puppy. However, he did not remain silent. His eyes were fixed on her as she wrapped her arms around him, perhaps attempting to tell him something about herself. Chiara's sister was instructed to remove the animal from the temple because her father was angry that she should behave this way. The bride was concerned that she could have it this way. The young lady complied. However, when she approached one of the benches, Uvu lost his composure and began barking more loudly. So the only thing left for the girl to do was to take him into his arms, but he was reluctant to leave her. One of the young women who had taken a seat had a worried demeanor and demanded that the dog be taken out in an almost audible voice. Following the girl's negligence, Uvu took advantage of the situation and went back into his temple, this time barking at the particular young woman who happened to be nearby. The small dog, which was not very large, bit into the woman's clothing and began to tug it, forcing her to force him to get up from her bench. After escorting her out of the temple, he continued to drag her away from the brightly colored garments she was wearing as she screamed for him to let go of her, which was as obnoxious as the owner of her, but Uvu disregarded her and continued to take her away. Everyone was taken aback and did not intervene in the situation, since the bride did not recognize her dog, which had never harmed anybody. However, the surprise came when there was an explosion out of nowhere. That woman, in response to whom the small dog was howling and barking, was hiding explosives beneath her clothing, and according to the reports, she meant to exterminate all the attendees during the ceremony. Although Uvu sacrificed himself for the sake of everyone, it was because of him that those lives were saved. When the bride saw Uvu's bravery, she was devastated. We can only hope that she completed the ceremony and proceeded to gather the bones of the courageous animal, which she then placed in a grave that she dug herself. The feast, which was the third and final component of the wedding, was held in honor of the animal, and there was no music played since Chiara's suffering was acknowledged. Nobody understood why the young woman felt compelled to perform such a heinous deed. It was thought that she did it because she was envious of her, but in the end, her life gave him what he deserved. Despite the tragic occurrence that occurred on their wedding day, Chiara and Shakir were joyful. Friends, here's where our tale comes to a conclusion for today. We hope it's met your expectations, as it has in the past. If you like it, please give us a like and leave a helpful remark so that we can all benefit from it. If you haven't already, please share this on your social media networks. To ensure that you're constantly informed when we have a new video, we welcome you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our stories. Subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.